Hey guys, Jeremy Clark here for Saturday, May 16th workout, which is South Dakota. This is my wife, Nicole. She'll be demonstrating the movements for today, starting with our warm up. We have 50 jumping jacks. Arms straight, legs straight, touching over top, touching down, um, legs at the bottom. Then 10 air squats. Feet are going to be underneath shoulders. Hips go back first, then knees bend. Going to go all the way down to hips below knees, knees out, feet flat. From the side, you can see clearly that she's going deep enough each and every rep and then standing up tall at the top of each rep. After that, she has 10 Cossack squats, toes up. Remember, that's a wide stance. She'll be leaning to one side and then her toe will be coming up on the opposite side. After those Cossack squats, 10 good mornings. If you have a PVC pipe, go ahead and grab that or a broomstick, you're going to put that on your back, hands right outside your shoulders, feet underneath your hips, hips go back first to where you can get to a nice parallel position, you should feel a good stretch in your hamstrings. After those good mornings, 10 Cossack squats with the feet flat, so once again a wide stance. Feet are going to remain flat and you're going to feel a good stretch in your legs going side to side. Then 10 Kang squats, you want to grab that PVC pipe again just like you did in Good Morning. Now your stance is going to be at shoulder width rather than at hip width. Hips are going back, going to parallel like that Good Morning and then squatting and the hips up and then standing up tall from the side angle. Good Morning first. Then a squat, hips up, and then standing up tall. After the 10 Kang squats, 50 more jumping jacks, warming up those calves for our runs in the, in the workout. And let's go ahead and move right into our workout. It's one mile run, 21 double unders, 15 medicine ball sit-ups, nine handstand push-ups for three rounds. So, Let's talk about the mile run. Should take between six and 10 minutes. If it's anything more than 10 minutes, then you need to scale down and uh, go to a different group for today's workout. Then we have our 21 double unders. Remember, on the double under, you want to keep your elbows in. You want to roll with your wrists. You don't want to use your full arm. Snap the wrist down and uh, continue to keep your feet underneath your body as you jump. Try to land in the same spot every single time. Very nice. After those double unders, we have our medicine ball sit-ups. So grab your ab mat, grab the medicine ball. The standard weight for guys is 20, for ladies is 14. And you're going to want the medicine ball to touch behind your head and between your legs each and every rep. So, on those medicine ball sit-ups, you want to keep that ball as close as you can to your body. If your arms get too long and the ball gets too far from your body, it's going to be extremely challenging. So keep it as close to your body throughout all of the reps as possible. And lastly, we have our nine handstand push-ups. On those handstand push-ups, make sure you keep your elbows locked. Your hands are pointing, your fingers are pointing toward the wall. You're going to kick up. Go down, have your head touch, and bring your knees down to kick yourself back up and give you a little assistance for each and every rep. That's called a kipping handstand push-up, or you can do a strict handstand push-up if you'd like, where your legs just remain straight the entire throughout the entire rep. So it's an extremely long workout, uh, and I look forward to you guys pushing yourself uh, for a longer extended period of time. We're moving into our <coughs> core crusher, which is accumulating five minutes and a plank on either your elbows or your hands. So there's the plank from the uh, hand position and there it is from the elbow position. Remember if you, um, remember if you're going to use your hands this time because the next time I want you to encourage I want you to do your elbows. If you do your elbows, I'd rather you do your hands 
for the next time. <clears throat> now it is an accumulation, so every time you stop or take a break, stop the clock, and then start back up whenever you're ready. But the goal is to accumulate five minutes within that core crusher. Cool down is one minute of couch stretch on each leg. So you're going to back up toward the wall. You have your knee touch as close to the wall as possible. And then you're going to sit your shoulders back and sit up nice and straight so that you feel a stretch in that leg. If you need a PVC pipe for support, you can. If you can't get into that position, you just need your hands on the ground, that's okay too for a little bit more support. After those couch stretch, you have one minute. Pull across body on each arm. So you're going to go ahead and grab the post and you're going to pull across your body and you should feel a stretch in your tricep and in your lap. Then that's on each arm and then you have one minute arm opener. So instead of pulling across your body, this time you're opening everything up and you, you should feel a stretch in your uh, inner shoulder and on your chest. So, weekly challenge is to spend five minutes in prayer, meditation, and mindfulness. Thanks and enjoy.